Ladies and gentlemen, printed in every store, everywhere, every CVS, Walgreens, every font, every font, the twerk ethic times New Roman. <laughs> That's it. Hmm. You heard it here first. Uh, we have a new segment where we're going to read from the Twerk Ethic Times New Roman. We're going to have columnists. Yes. Jared Poff's going to be one of them. Yeah. So, what is the Twerk Ethic News Roman? You better. It is a news publication. Yeah. Good news. Good news. Publication. Our slogan is, the news is good all the time. And all the time, the news, news is, is good. good. And mm. if you come in here with bad news... We're going to ask you to pack up your things by the end of the day. Yeah. Because you're fired. Finding shelter for animals through Tinder, the app. The, the dating The app. dating app. All right. This is in Germany. Huh. Looking for a long-term relationship with someone single, lonely, and a little on the furry side? <laughs> your next date could be with an adorable dog or cat. All you have to do is swipe right. Oh, shoo. Uh, that very first line was my tender <laughs> line. A little on the furry side. That was close, yeah. <laughs> I was like, how did he get this? Oh, yeah. Hello, America. Put some trouble in it. Hello, world. That's, that's where you are. Twerk ethic. Hello, Cooley. Hello, JT. How you be doing? I'm, I'll be doing. I'll be doing good. <laughs> it's one of my favorite phrases. <laughs> How you be doing? Yes, um, I'll be doing good. I'm glad you be doing good. Um, How you be doing? I be doing well. Okay. Oh, saved it. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to be doing much better because oh, as, yeah. as people are listening to this, I will be overlooking an ocean. Yeah. <sighs> oh, I'm falling asleep. I can't can't keep doing that. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I'm going to be at the I'm at the beach right now while people are listening. Nice. And uh, today is going to be uh, a shorter episode. And mm. we're going to film today's episode and the next week's episode in yeah. the same sitting. So we uh, will have the same shirts on, right? Yeah. And for those who that means nothing to, the newcomers, yeah, I'd like to introduce the show. Okay. This is, this is the actual Twerk Ethics show. And I am named JT. You are named Cooley. Yeah. Tell them, hey. Hey, everybody. <laughs> I still can't believe this is the real Twerk Ethic show. I can't either. And I'm in disbelief. This is episode 72. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah. I can't believe we've kept going. I know. That's it's not been true. 20, 20 years. It's been, <laughs> it huh. took us 20 years to do 72 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. We're not consistent. I will say the opposite of that. We are consistent. Um, yeah. We started in January of 2021, and we have not missed one week. We might miss a week coming up just because our schedules are so... Right. But so far, we haven't missed a You're week. You're gone next week. I'm gone the next week. Yep. And then two weeks after that, I'm gone again. So, you know, we might... It sounds like I'm quitting the show, but I'm really not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love this. Sh I love uh, this uh, show. I thought so. I wasn't doubting... <laughs> well, I I do want to make an announcement. I oh. know that we a couple weeks ago said we're not doing any more uh, original music. Oh, or excuse me, we're not doing any more non-original music. Right. Uh, and now I'd also like to announce we have nixed our website. Gone. So for those eighty six it for those of you that's right who have uh checked in to our website or whatever. Yeah. We pretty much forgot we even had one yep. until I realized how much I was paying for it. Man. And I don't want to pay for it anymore because it's 2022 
And if you want to contact us, go to our Instagram. <laughs> it's 2022. <laughs> that's, that's the only reason. Yeah. Searching for a website, a window to the world, got to get online. Take a spin, now you're in with the techno set. You're going surfing on the internet. What's a web page? Something ducks walk on? Ha ha, very funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> go to our Instagram. Go to our TikTok. Yeah. Um, if you know us, just give us a ring on the telly. You'll learn much about us through those and this. Yes. Especially this. Yes. This is in depth. And this is not edited for time. Wink. Wink. Um, but yeah, if you're wondering, the website is gone. Mm -hmm. um, so sorry about that if you liked it. But I didn't want to pay for it anymore. Yeah. So, uh, and that reminded me, I, I wanted to ask you this. Hmm. In person, but it might as well do it on the podcast. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you about uh, speaking of 2022, yeah, uh, and the lack of websites. Yeah, I want to ask you what your social media habits are because I've been thinking lately mm -hmm. how I think our generation is going to see social media as junk food, and yeah. uh, I think. People are putting in habits of like which platform they even use. Like some people just stop using a platform as a whole. Yeah. Or like me, I put timers on it. And some people, you know, only check it on certain days. Or some people just binge every single one of them. Mm -hmm. On Sunday, I looked on Twitter to get some ideas for the show. Mm -hmm. And I was there for about an hour. And I wanted to kill myself. Yeah. It was, to quote... Mr. Matt Golden Hawk Brown. It was a cesspool of chaos. And I can't, I can't exist in that. I, I just, I don't know if I'm too right. emotional or I, I just, it was a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a reason I'm not on Twitter. But I was kind of curious before I tell you my habits. Okay. To in today's time, today's mm -hmm. world, where do you sit with your social media habits? Mostly YouTube. Mostly YouTube. Mostly YouTube. Uh, Instagram is a big one. TikTok, on and off. Um, well, let's break this down, though. You say yeah. Instagram is a big one. Yeah. So how how many days a week are you on it? Is it every day? Uh, oh, yeah, probably. And how many? How much time? It depends. Okay. If I have nothing to do, then I'm on it probably for a solid 30 minutes to That's an hour. That's still pretty good. Yeah. That's like a pretty good, that's not too bad. But if I'm like, like yesterday I was uh, working and at a wedding and uh, playing for it, I was probably on it 15, 20 times, but for a total of maybe two minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So I just. So that's Instagram. A little bit. TikTok. Are you on TikTok every day? No. And if you get on TikTok, how long are you on it? Uh, it yeah, free day. Uh, I'll probably just get into a lot of stuff scroll, like scroll fast. Yeah, exactly. Um, I like the uh, TikTok is very very funny. Oh my god, it wins every day. Yeah. Um, people post like the thing. The one thing I do like is people who play their instrument like a trumpet or a trombone and they're in this big hall mm. or a tunnel or something like that. And they're playing the theme to star Wars. Mm. Awesome. Nice. It, it sounds really, really good. So, and this one guy plays trombone and his mother is a little person. Mm -hmm. And so when she walks in, he goes, <laughs> I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but yeah. dude, it is so funny. But stuff like that, man. It's just it's all over. And it. then YouTube is every day. Oh yeah. Um like yeah, I'll watch the Torque Ethic show. Like and subscribe. The best the show bell. on earth. Yeah. And uh a lot of uh a lot of sports. Yeah. Like if uh the brace play and I can't watch it, I'll just watch it's so good. The rerun the same recap. With, same with college football. It's yeah. like College football, NBA now that the playoffs are in. So, okay. I would say mine are very similar. Yeah. I don't do Facebook at all. 
In fact, I deleted. You deleted it. Right? Um, actually, I think it's back non-deleted now, but I don't. I And it was for Twork Ethic. Oh, okay. But I don't use it. I think Facebook is just terrible. I only go um, check to see if if I do a story and it does both my Facebook and Instagram. That's when I go check Okay. It. I haven't so. used Facebook in like seven years. No. I just, something about it. Same with Twitter. Mm. Um, actually, since Twitter's existence, I think I've only used it for a couple of hours. Mm. I have always not understood yeah. the, like, people are so mean on there, dude. Yeah. Like, you see someone say something, you're like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then you look at the comments and people are just like, yeah. Just very, very, very mean, right? And chaotic. And I was, I Sunday, I was like, I'm never getting on this app, yeah, yeah, yeah. ever again. I, yeah. I, I want to because of, of the podcast sake, but I'm like, I think that's just one platform. I'm, I'm, we're not gonna, we're not gonna touch, right? I, I mean, <laughs> we have an account, but yeah, whew, it's bad. Yeah, Instagram. I have a five minute timer. Oh yeah, because it also can make me a little upset. Yeah. Um, except for when I'm doing the show. So right. most of my... I get sucked into the reels. Yeah. Most Big of time. my um, Instagramming is actually the content for this show, mm. putting up clips and stuff like that. Right. Um, my personal Instagram, I use like once a month. Mm. Like I just, you know, if I yeah. travel, maybe I'll use it some. Yeah. yeah. Instagram has really died off for me. But, yeah. um, and TikTok, I don't use it every day, but when I do, oh my gosh, it's great. Yeah. It's so funny. Mm -hmm. um, especially when I figured out you could tailor it. You could just hold it down and say not interested. And oh, it, yeah. It adapts the algorithm right. perfectly. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, like you, I use YouTube every single day. Yeah. Man. YouTube they is They got the, me learned. Yeah. That's the number one app. Oh, well, on my TV anyway. Just go straight to YouTube. So let me ask you this though. Okay. It sounds like we have very similar um, patterns. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like you've gotten better, just like I have over the years, of limiting the time on these social media sure. apps. Sure. And I think I'm happier because of it. No, I know I'm happier because of it. Oh, yeah, that, for sure. You've noticed this too, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, because like you don't read, you know negative stuff all the time you know because it's it, it, i mean it's everywhere you can't escape it yeah somebody's gonna say something negative but staying clear from that yeah yeah, yeah. i feel tons better and i think i think it's interesting too because i do believe that we it took us a while to figure out what foods were bad for us yeah and how to you know limit ourselves and, and diet and what's mm -hmm. healthy and blah, blah, blah with food. Yeah. I think the same thing is going to happen with social media. Like we, yeah, we, we're going to have a lot of mentally obese people mm -hmm. who cannot get off of social media wow. and they're going to be really limited because of it. Yeah. And I think they're going to be, um, recommended diets, if you will, of, yeah. of a certain social media. And sometimes, Removal from the, the the app itself. Yeah. And you'll just, and we'll be happier because of it. Because yeah. It Our can, phones need to be gluten-free. That's right. Uh, MSG-free. That's right. You know, <laughs> uh, glucose-free. Yeah. Uh, just pure sugar. Just give me, just give me pure sugar. Sugar from the earth. <laughs> and I'll be all right. <laughs> well, uh, we have to go to an ad, but before we do. Okay. Um, we're going to introduce a new uh, show today, or new segment today mm. that matches with the social media thing. So okay. they'll have to wait. Mm. Ooh, but the ad's not boring. You know why? And we're back. Because it's about plumbing. Ah. What is boring about plumbing? All of it. If yeah. If you don't use Canon. Mm-hmm. Am I right? Uh, yeah. Canon plumbing. You're not wrong. At all is the best plumbing plumber situation. He's plum good. He's plum all right. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> which, which in the South, all right is is probably better than good. Yeah. If someone looks oh, at yeah. you and says, "Hey, that boy right there, he's all right. He's all right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's, that's a good thing. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> but Cannon Clint, he really is. Yeah, he's plum great. Yep. 
plum he's he's plum good at his job. He's plum good at communicating. Yeah. With I don't get rid of the accent. Uh with uh <laughs> or I'll just stay with it the whole time. Um but he's good at communicating. Yeah. <laughs> uh super nice guy. Super nice guy. You know positive. He's very, very trustworthy and just Give all your business to him. All of it. Yeah. I mean, he'll probably change a light bulb too. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, he probably will. And I mean, if he's and while he's there, he might as well. Do like it. you said, he's very trustworthy. So what he'll do, he'll take a plunger <laughs> yeah. to all that BS. Yeah. And just yank it out. Yep. And you're left with nothing but the truth. Yep. All over your floor. <laughs> <laughs> and, nothing but the truth and maybe a bill because he has a business. This is not a charity. Well, yeah. It's not a plumbing charity. He, he can be your friend. Good idea. Yeah. Plumbing charity is a good idea. Uh, yeah, very good. This is not what it is. He will charge you. He'll be friendly with you, but he, he knows how to separate business and pleasure. Yes, he does. So. But I don't. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm uh, pretty excited right now because we... Um, thanks to some riffing, some brainstorming with Mr. Jared Poff. Yeah. We have a new segment that we're going to announce. How about that? Right now. And it's all about good news. Because nice. we're talking about social media and how yeah. there's negativity and stuff. Right. But um, we're going to announce the segment where we're going to read from our very own newspaper mm -hmm. that does exist. Yeah. But... You, I, I don't know. I Print think you should head. tell them. You should tell them the name of our publication. Oh yeah, ladies and gentlemen, printed in every store, everywhere, every CVS, Walgreens, every font, every font. The Twerk Ethic Times New Roman. <laughs> That's it. Hmm. You heard it here first. <laughs> Uh, we have a new segment where we're going to read from the Twerk Ethic Times New Roman. We're going to have columnists. Yes. Jared Poff's going to be one of them. Yeah. So, what is the Twerk Ethic News Roman? You better. It is a news publication. Yeah. Good news. Good news. Publication. Our slogan is, the news is good all the time. And all the time, the news, news is, is good. good. And mm. if you come in here with bad news... We're going to ask you to pack up your things by the end of the day. Yeah. Because you're fired. But we're going to wait till Friday because that's the best day. That's the best day to, do to get fired. <laughs> but yeah. We're not going to fire you on a Monday because that's just wrong. This is similar to, to this day in history, but it's mm -hmm. now. Right. And to, well, actually, it's now until it's not now, and then it is history. Yeah. So, boom. Are you ready for this? Uh, Yeah. A third, gra third grade. <laughs> Hey, don't make fun of me. I can read. Third grade class <laughs> uh. in Arizona, which is a state, uh, was surprised with full scholarships to college. They are not Scott's Tots. <laughs> <laughs> That's immediately what I thought of. Ten years ago, yeah. 84 third grade students at Michael Anderson School in Avondale, Arizona. <laughs> Michael? Really? We're surprised. I know, right? Wow. We're surprised with the gift of opportunity. Uh, and essentially, they actually follow through with it. Whereas we're talking about the episode of The Office. Yeah. Scott's Tots. Scott's Tots. Where Michael guarantees them that he's going to pay for their... Were they third graders, too, at the time? Or? Uh, they definitely were that. They were elementary. Certainly elementary. Okay, yeah. What's Scott's Tots? <laughs> <laughs> Has it really been 10 years? A local businessman pledges college tuition to third graders. <laughs> and he just assumed he would be super famous and rich one day. Millionaire, yeah. And he ended up not being, but they didn't forget. And they yeah. called him in and he couldn't do it. So he ended up giving them laptop batteries. Batteries. <laughs> not, not laptops. <laughs> Brand new laptop batteries. Yep. Fresh out the bag. But that's cool. 84 um, students are getting full scholarships to college. That's pretty amazing. It's pretty good news, right? Very cool. 
The very good news. I thought so. Uh, perfect for the Twerk Ethic Times New Roman. Yeah. Uh, for sure. One more around Number the world. Number one paper in the world. <laughs> one more around the world. Okay. Uh, this one was interesting. Finding shelter for animals through Tender, the app. The, the dating The app. dating app. All right. This was in Germany. Huh. Looking for a long-term relationship with someone single, lonely, and a little on the furry side? <laughs> Your next date could be with an adorable dog or cat. All you have to do is swipe right. Oh, shoo. Uh, that very first line was my tender <laughs> line. A little on the furry side. That was close, yeah. <laughs> I was like, how did he get this? Um, faced with an influx of animals um, <laughs> dur- during the lockdown. <laughs> what? I'm still imagining on, I'm on tender, tender and then, you know, there's animals popping up. So an influx because of the lockdown. Um, the Munich Animal Welfare Association teamed up with an advertising agency to create dating profiles mm. for 15 adoptable pets on the popular app, Tinder. Mm. Complete with professional photos, a bio that includes likes, dislikes. Yeah. Uh, Captain Kirk, for example, a two-year-old black and white cat. He enjoys cuddles, but not small children. <laughs> <laughs> the pet profiles have received an overwhelming number of right swipes, says the shelter. Uh. After being screened, prospective adopters can arrange a meet and greet with their new match at the shelter. Really? That's really good news. Uh, yeah. Relatively weird, but good news. Uh, yeah, I didn't know there was. Well, you said Munich, which is in Sweden. Right? Germany. <sighs> Come on. Yes. <laughs> Germany. <laughs> Our audience finally woke up. Yeah. Um, welcome. Welcome. Yeah. During that whole thing, I sh- should have played Sarah McLaughlin. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 that's what editing's for. <laughs> Would you swipe right for a pet? Uh, it depends on what kind of pet. I know my Probably wife. Probably left for a cat. My wife would. She'd swipe right, right for like 20 of them. <laughs> right. And there'd be a line <laughs> waiting. Right. Yeah, for sure. If I found a dog that I always wanted, then yes. I would probably swipe right. Yeah. So... Well, because you get to learn all about it. Well, that, and I've been single for a long time, and I need companionship. (sighs) (laughs) (laughs) I'm kidding. I love being single. Single's awesome. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Before this goes off the rails, Uh I'd like for you to, we're going to go local now. Oh. And we're going to share good news that happened in our own life. Okay. So... Um, up first from Twerk Ethic itself, yeah, Mr. Cooley, yeah, what is a piece of good news that's happened in the past week for you? Um, I ate all my lunch, all of it, yeah. And when you clean a plate, it's called happy plate. (laughs) That's not a joke, that's real. (laughs) Okay, it's happy plate. All right, all right, to my niece and nephew. Happy plate. Happy plate? Yeah. Okay. Um, Clean plate is a happy plate. Here's my good news. Yeah. I've been using my phone all day long, Mm -hmm. and I just checked, and the battery is only at 73%. (laughs) Twerk ethic, Times New Roman, where anybody has good news. Mm -hmm. All jokes aside, I do think it's important psychologically yeah for you to look at the positive things in your life because the negative ones are so much easier to see yeah but if you challenge yourself even as dumb as my phone is not dead mm-hmm. or i'm not dead yeah i'm still at 73 percent as a human I, I would hope that'd be great right but yeah. it, you know what i'm saying like it i think it's one thing i like about you is mm-hmm. that 
You're pretty. You're pretty. Um, I am pretty. You're pretty. You're uh, you're pretty sentimental and positive. True. Like you'll see something and be like, "Isn't this awesome?" I'm like, "Yeah, it is awesome." That's actually funny because yesterday I had that moment with Miss Vicky's sea salt chips. I was, I was like, and I was, I was thinking you were going like with a person, Miss Vicky. And no, no, like, no, Who's no. Miss Vicky? No, okay. no, uh, okay. Miss Vicky's hot, but uh, her sea salt chips, <laughs> amazing. Came talk, it's so good. <laughs> um, but my uh, friend uh, Mitch Dameron, he plays the bass for A Town A List. What's up, Mitch? Look up Steamy G, so good. Mm. Um, but he started laughing at me because I just found that so fascinating, but only because I was starving and we had just, uh, loaded yeah. all the band stuff yeah. and we had a super difficult load in, uh, they had no ramp everything's on wheels. So we had to lift stuff and I hated every second of it, but got to the green room. Miss Vicky sea salt chips, mm. and I tasted it. It was so good. And you're like, life's fine. Yes, exactly. And Mitch was laughing at me because I found the pleasure <laughs> in simple things. <laughs> I think that's awesome, man. I, I I try to look at life that way. Actually, yeah. Most mornings, I try to find three things that I'm grateful for mm. because it just makes me get out of a funk that's easy to get into. True. It's like to get over yourself. Like all your bills are paid. Like you have great friends, great family. Yeah. Your health is doing okay. Like you you need to get over yourself. Like what mm-hmm. are what are some positives? So Yeah, for sure. That's why I'm happy about this new segment. Yeah. It's funny that we couldn't think of it our own. So yeah. thank you, Jared, for yeah. The idea. And we're hiring. We are hiring. So if you want to do like the letter, let letter. <laughs> Letter to the editor. Yeah. Tutorial. Write something. Write write some, a good news that happened to you this week or this past month. That's a great idea. It could have been 20 years ago. Who knows? Yeah. But something good. Something good. Write it in the old comments down below. Like I, I poured special. And we'll put it on there. Yeah. I, I poured a nice bowl of Special K fruit and yogurt. Yeah. And it was awesome. Best bowl of cereal I've had in a couple months. Wow. It's good news. I mean- I mean, it's not regular K. It is special it's for special. a reason. Yeah. For so, more than one reason, actually. All kinds of reasons. Right. Well, my friend. Every kiss begins with special K. <laughs> <laughs> Every kiss begins with special K. Um, that's f- Every kiss begins with special K. <laughs> <laughs> Just- <laughs> Every kiss begins with special K. All right. <laughs> Special car. Because we are filming two today, First we're going to go ahead and end this one. Okay. Um, and everyone listening, remember, I'm at the beach right now, enjoying myself. Um, yeah. And thinking about all of you, every single one of you. Yeah, absolutely. Mm, okay. Yeah. Anyway. Man, I, I do hope you have a good time, though. Thank you, man. Um, That'd be fun. I... I, I've been looking forward to it. And I'm coming with you. For so a that's time. cool. That's news. Yeah. <laughs> that's good news. Yeah. We'll see how positive that is. Um, <laughs> well, dude, why don't I, I had this idea. Why don't you take us out the way that Miss Vicky would take us out? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I, I assume Miss mm-hmm. Vicky might be a little Southern. Mm. So, uh, as she would say bye to everybody, yeah. she'd say it like this. See y'all out later. <laughs> the face. See y'all out later. See y'all out later. <laughs> See y'all out later. <laughs> I can't handle your southern accent, bro. It's so good. Try.